One, enhance the level of international competitiveness. What, they are, what we're saying here, when they are in CARICOM, they have more bargaining power to compete with other trading blocks across the world. Access to wider market for the country's products. Yes, so the country now has access to a number of other countries because there is common common market in CARICOM. It's a common market, so the country will have a greater market to um, have their goods yes, be, be sold. Thus, it increased the production of the country and productivity to improve the country's standard of living. So, of course, because there's more production taking place, the stand more income will be earned and therefore it will improve the country's standard of living. Let's move on. Question B. Define the term direct foreign investment. Again, this question has returned. What does it mean? This is where companies take the action to invest by purchasing a business, machines, or equipment in another country to do what? Establish their presence. As we said before, direct foreign investment suggests that the overseas company is coming into your country. Is coming into your country, yes, to set up a business. Spending your money to set up a business. State four reasons why foreign business may be willing to invest in the Caribbean region. One, the Caribbean is in a strategic geographical location to provide trading links or network with other countries. We are located in, a, in an advantageous location for many persons to link between countries within the Caribbean basin. All right. It is fairly easy to establish a business in the Caribbean as government tend to give incentives to attract foreign investment. Three, the areas of interest in the country may have little or no competition to be contend with. All right. Four, good and modern infrastructure may exist in the countries of the Caribbean. And we have five. There are there is very good political stability in the country, in the countries in the Caribbean. All right, to get the last part of the question, outline two ways in which human resource development could assist in reducing the economic problems of the Caribbean countries. What is the question asked us to? outline how human resource development again this is something that we have looked at prior to in some other other papers and it is here again so one more education and training once we talk about human resource development we're talking about education and training of persons will up once we do that they will obtain employment thus reducing unemployment in the country this will also increase national income and standard of living secondly Greater opportunity to set up business by young trained entrepreneurs and that will expand will expand the economy and reduce overpopulation in urban areas. The last part says third part is improve in research and development. So we'll give you an extra one to consider. Yes, improving research and development can discover many solutions to methods of production yes quality of products to withstand diseases landmark health care alternatives yes to to maintain a healthy um, labor force so what we're saying here in uh, what the, what can happen is that we can use human resource development to improve and treat with the, the problems, right? When we have improvement in the redu human resource, yes, we can improve our research and development area, 
right? And as, as we do that, because we have well-trained persons, we can discover a lot of solution to the ills in our society. And we can discover new method of production. We can improve the quality of the products that we produce. We can come up with, um, with methods and things that will withstand diseases, yes? And landmark health care facilities may come about, yes? Alternatives to maintain health a healthy labor force. All right, so we want to thank you then for sharing with us. If you like this video, please click the like button and, the, and share this video with someone. And indeed, if this content is good, please click the subscribe button. Thank you very much.